came up uh, clutch for you guys. Huge right? tonight. Yeah. Uh, you know, what can you say? Hit 14, uh, 14 for 27. Shot the ball extremely well. Yeah, I thought we got good looks all night. Uh, and then Stefan Johnson caught fire and knocked down a bunch of wide open looks. And the thing I would tell you is I, I thought we did as good a job passing the ball to each other as we've done all year and maybe in the two years that I've been here. Mack Hobson with 11 assists, uh, no turnovers. Marvin Jefferson, four assists, no turnovers. And I thought they did a great job of finding the guy with the hot hand and getting it to him. And, and tonight, uh, Stefan delivered. I thought uh, Sean Henderson came uh, came in in a starting role and played very well when we were kind of in a little bit of a, uh, a lull there. Uh, he got the ball in the paint and scored, I think, three consecutive baskets in a row or three out of four that really gave us a nice lift as we went through the second half. Is it one of your, do you feel like it was one of your most complete games as far as shooting goes? You didn't have a lot of turnovers. Yeah, it was, it was a good, it was, it was from an offensive standpoint, I thought we were very solid. Uh, I thought we, like I said, I thought we moved the ball well. Um, I, I thought we shot it well. I, I thought we executed pretty well. You know, they were changing their defense between man and 2-3 zone and 1-2-2 two, two zone, and they were trying to keep us off balance that way. I thought our guys did a great job adjusting. Defensively, I thought we played pretty, did a pretty good job. Roderick Frim is obviously a heck of a player. Uh, we didn't do a very good job rebounding the basketball. We got them to miss a lot, and we didn't do a very good job rebounding. Give them credit. They, they played hard right to the final buzzer, and, and that just shows you what kind of coach Bob Nash is and how much pride they have in their program because, uh, you know, they knew that they weren't playing for anything but pride tonight uh, at about the start of the game when we, when we heard Boise was up by as many as they were going in the second half. When you played in the first I the impression it looked like, at least to me, was that they were just trying to take away the inside and give you guys the outside shots, the outside look. Did they do that the last time in, on the islands? You know, uh, on the island, they played us a lot more man-to-man -man defense on the island. It was, they were a lot more pressure-oriented uh, there. We, we had to drive our ball in the basket more. Um, I thought we did a great job on the island of stopping them in transition. Uh, and I thought we did a great job defensively in rebounding over there. Uh, but but tonight, you know, you're exactly right. Uh, you know, they kind of packed it back in for whatever reason. And, uh, you know, we played a lot of zone and gave us the opportunity to, to shoot some outside shots. And it was fortunate we made a bunch of them. Did you feel good? It looked like they were starting to fire up the transition game at the start of the game. It looked like you put a stop on that. Yeah, we did. Uh, I thought... I, Start of the game, I you know we gave them 11 points in transition at halftime, and I and I that's why that was my main halftime speech is we can't give them that many, we can't give them 11 points in, in transition the second half. We just can't do that, fellas. And I had two things, uh, you know, two things helped that. One is we made some field goals, uh, and, and two is we did a lot better job getting back. We made a little adjustment, sent three back the second half, and I thought that really helped us as we went down the stretch and, and made them shoot tougher shots and not give them as many easy looks at the basket. And at the top of the second half and the start of the. Henderson got the back to back down the lane. Was that designed? Yes. Hit the post and just turn and go? Yeah, yeah. That's a little something we call goes three. We put Luciano out on the wing. Uh, we put a three man in the middle of the lane, and, and we were we thought the zone was weak in the middle, and, and we told Chow when you get it in there, attack the basket, and see what happens. I thought he did a good job scoring it there. Marvin Jefferson, maybe not uh, not so much a great uh, scoring night, but uh, he seemed to do well ball handling. Uh, uh, mixing it up with a, very, with a very tough matchup inside. Yeah, you know, the way they were playing us, where they were sagging their defense down all night, it was hard to get Marvin the ball. And I thought he did a great job uh, rebounding the ball. I, I thought he, 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 was, he, he battled all night long. He did a good job passing. You know, he didn't shoot a very well from the foul line tonight, but I thought he, he did a good job. I, I think coming into this game, they really wanted to take away our inside game. And, you know, um, they did that a little bit. And we were, for, like I said, we were fortunate enough to have Mac and Steph knock down a bunch of shots. For uh, Mac and Steph on senior night, I mean, uh, it's obviously a cool way to go out here in Moscow. Great way to go out. Uh, I don't think that, you know, all of us who've played, uh, when you're playing your last game in front of your home home fans, if you can come out and have a good night, it, it's something that stays with you for the rest of your life. And, uh, you know, Steph getting hot from three and having his career high, and then, um, you know, Mac having his career high in assist, I believe. Is, does anybody know? Do we know? Yeah, he is by one. By one? Yeah, I think he had 10 at Fresno last year. And, and then to throw no turnovers on the on the back side of that, uh, uh, that's a that's a great performance. What do you want to tell the fans now that the regular season play here at home is done? Well, that's a good question. You know, hey, I, I really believe we're a team that can make a run in the tournament. Like I told our guys afterwards, it's it's the team that plays the best for 40 minutes now. Okay, it's not the team that plays the best for for four months. It's the team for best for 40 minutes, and you got to take one game at a time and. You know, I really believe anybody can get hot and upset anybody in our tournament. 
um, and and we've got to go and do everything we can uh, to win that first round game. But uh, I feel good about where the program's at. I think the program has made a, uh, made a lot of improvements in the two years we've been here. You know, we've become a, a legitimate competitor in the WAC, uh, night in and night out. 32 wins in two years. If you'd have told me, you know, um, about what is it, about three or four weeks from now, two years ago, when, when I got hired, that we had, we had won 32 games in the first two years, I said I'd take it, and we'll go to year three. Um, so I'm I'm very happy with where we're at, but we got a lot of basketball to play play left. Uh, there's no question we can make a run this WAC tournament. And that's going to be our goal. But how how important is that? Speaking of that, to get the seventh seed and kind of be able to avoid Utah State in that first round. I mean, that's that's going to be huge. <laughs> You know, I don't ever like to play Utah State, but uh, we'll take whoever they give us. Uh, there's, there's no question about that. And I told the team in the locker room afterwards, I, I wouldn't mind playing Nevada. They, they got one from us uh, late um, here, and, and I know our guys will be extremely to play, extremely excited to play in Nevada, but or New Mexico State or whoever. I know they're just going to be excited um, to get to the tournament and, and to get after somebody. How big is it that you're coming in on a, on a two-game win streak uh, at this home, this last home stand? I always think that's uh, important. You got some momentum, uh, momentum, confidence. Uh, you know, we felt like lately, we've, we've the last two games especially, we've played well, we've shot the ball well. Um, so I, I think it's very important to come in on a two-game home streak. And you know, it, it's it's human nature. Everybody feels better when you win. And, and so um, I know our guys feel better about themselves. I feel better about myself. I'm sure the fans feel better about themselves. You know, that's that's what we all set out to do. So. Um, I, I think it's extremely important, and I know our guys will be extremely excited to, to go down to Reno on Wednesday. Can you comment on Watson, Don? I mean, can you make a comment? And that I know you said that he is suspended indefinitely. Um, uh, can you elaborate on that? Um, can you tell us why he was suspended specifically? No. <laughs> okay. How does that uh, How does that affect the, the team as you head into the conference? Well, you know, I think that. Anytime you lose a, a starter, it, it has some effect on the team. But Sean Henderson stepped up and played as good as, 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 as good as you could possibly hope for him to play in a starting role. And uh, that's, that's one thing that we have. We have we, I thought our key to our team this year was our depth. And uh, you know when Sean got his opportunity tonight, I thought he took, uh, took advantage of it. He came out with a lot of intensity and, and uh, and that's what I expected him to do, and I was, I was, I was awfully, you know, I was glad he did that. But, uh, you know, this, the situation for Kashif is, is that, you know, uh, what I would say is, is that I made my statement, and I'm going to stick to that, and he is suspended indefinitely, and, and uh, we'll see what happens when we go to the WAC tournament.